So what is virtual ethanol? Simply put, it's when the customer and the finance manager are in two different locations. So it could mean a couple of different things. It could mean the F&I manager is in one dealership location and the customer is in another, in the instance of a dealer group. Or it could mean the customer is at home and the finance manager is in the dealership. Or it could even mean the finance manager is at home and the customer is at home as well. So it really allows you to be much more flexible with your F&I process. We still firmly believe that a trained dealership associate presenting F&I products is key to the success of your department, and virtual F&I allows you to do that. Before we dive in and show you exactly how it works, I want to tell you a little bit about what our journey's been for virtual F&I. We started virtual F&I back in October uh, of 2018. Uh, and, and we're lucky to have two of the guys, Mark and Alex, that, that were part of this from the very beginning on the call with us uh, today. We saw a lot of changes happening in the industry. We saw consumers saying that they want to do business differently. Digital retailing was starting to grow uh, and, and really take up some momentum. And we said, hey, we're going to have to get more flexible in the future when it comes to, to F&I. So we said, can, can we complete F&I when we're not physically in the room with the customer? So we had 40 years of experience sitting across the desk from the customer, presenting a menu, selling F&I products, uh, and I think we've gotten pretty good at it. But what we wanted to figure out is, can we do that when we're not in the room? So we went to a dealership, we formed a partnership and a pilot, and we set up an F&I office, and on the other side of the desk was not an F&I manager, it was a screen. We were actually in the same building with the customer on these first few deliveries. We were just in another room. Customer came in. Uh, and one of our specialists, uh, may have been Mark, may have been Alex, was presenting F&I products virtually over a screen. We realized very quickly that it was successful and customers liked it. And from October of 2018 to the end of last year, we delivered over 1,400 deliveries and 13 rooftops in four states. As virtual F&I started to grow, we weren't in the same building with the customer anymore. We were in one dealership location Customers were in a few others. Then we actually moved our specialists to our office in Deerfield Beach, and we were delivering deals in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, and New York, all from there, all from our office. We trained 26 of our specialists uh, and 15 dealership F&I managers on the process throughout our pilot. And what we learned, as I referenced early, is consumers liked it. We actually surveyed every customer that went through that process, and over 80% of their consumers said that they preferred the virtual experience over their traditional experience that they'd had previously. We also learned that we could maintain and in some cases even increase F&I performance in those stores and not physically be in the office uh, with the customer. Now, up until the end of last year, all of our pilots had really focused on an in-store experience, but us not physically being in the room. And at the end of last year, we formed a pilot where we focused on off-site deliveries, where customers weren't in the dealership. We immediately had a lot of success and realized we could present menus and sell F&I products when the customer was at home or in their office. Now, fast forward to March of this year. We were ready to roll out virtual F&I in a large dealer group, 50 plus stores, and really scale it and see if, if, if we could really make this work in a, a large organization. And then we, I think we all know what happened in March. And we took a step back and we said, we've got a lot of learnings. We've got uh, 1,400 deals worth of learnings on virtual deals. Our dealers are being forced into the virtual space. Customers can't come into the store anymore or aren't comfortable coming into the store. And so we made the decision to roll this out to our dealers as quick as we could to enable them to have a virtual F&I process within their stores. We trained our entire field team on the process in about two weeks and launched it to our dealer partners. Uh, on April 13th of this year. We've also developed some virtual F&I resources that are available to all, which we'll make available to you as well. We've trained over 500 of our dealer partners on the virtual process, and we've captured performance data on over 5,000 deliveries. 